wanted to show you some sheer curtains that I really like. They start out with a lot of pattern at the bottom and then as you go up the pattern kind of thins out and then when you get to the top you're still getting some light through but not so much pattern. And I was intrigued by these and decided I'm going to try to echo this pattern in a cloth that I will use on the window also. So let me show you how I'm going to try to do this. So I'm here in the living room. I've got a table here that was here when the room was a piano workshop. We just haven't gotten it moved out, which is great for me today because that means I get to use it. So on the, the table is 36 inches by about eight feet. So I've got plenty of space to work with here. I've got a two by four on each side and the two before is on its edge. So let me, let me give you a little closer look at what this looks like. I have a table under here. And then there's a two before clamped to the table on this end, another one on this side. And then there's the light under here. Now there's one uh, fluorescent, <laughs> there's one LED, and there's some Christmas lights. We tried the Christmas lights first, that wasn't quite enough light. And then there's a piece of glass. And then there's a sheer curtain in there that's got a pattern in it. And then there's another piece of glass on top of that. So I purchased a number of plain white sheets and I'm going to use these as curtains. So the idea here is that this will go over top of the, of the glass and hopefully I can see the pattern through so that I can paint the pattern onto the cloth. So let's see how this goes, okay? <laughs> So let me show you how it's going so far. This is the sheet that I've been working at, painting piece by piece. I did one section and then waited for it to dry and then moved it over because this is a repeating pattern. So you can see that this piece right here is echoed again right there. I got just a little bit more on the sheet to go. So I'll do one more pattern repeat and then this one will be ready to hang. Once it's dry, you can see there's some wet places where I got the paint a little bit thick, but it's all right. And to answer the inevitable question, yes, this is the same paint that's right up there on the wall. And it's going to be fine. So even if I let this dry and wash it, it's in there for good. So no worries. Well, I am now going to finish the last foot of this piece. And then you can see the seam here for the next sheet that I am starting. And you can see that the pattern is just barely visible through, but I'll keep adding and keep going because it looks pretty decent. I'm happy with it. 